We've eaten in a lot of restaurants since we moved to Paris a few years ago, and there are some new ones that you need to know about. In this video, we're going to take you to three bistros where locals eat. We'll have a Sunday morning special brunch with a ton of yummy cheese. We'll also have an amazing duck confit near the Eiffel Tower. We'll try a Boeuf Bourguignon near the Luxembourg Garden, and we'll also have the Profiterole au chocolat. Allez, on y va. So today we're at the Bistro Belanger, which is right up the street from Garden Nord on the way to Montmartre. And this is a little bit of an institution. We've been hearing a lot about this place from a lot of different people. I want to find out if all the hype is worth it. And so far, it looks pretty good. Like, I don't know what that is, but I might need that. <laughs> so what do they have in this restaurant? They have a truffle saucisson, 18-month comté, country-style pâté. We're here on Sunday, so they have a Sunday brunch option, like eggs benedict or a Welsh mixture of something or a half of a chicken, or a chicken dish that people split. I have a fish of the day and a saucisse puree. I'm not sure what a saucisse puree is. I, I, I'm going to guess that it's a sausage with mashed potato. I would hope it's mashed potatoes and not a pureed sausage. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Je vous prends une frisée au lardon pour partager. Yeah. We're not starving, so we're splitting this frise salad with lardons or bacon and an egg on top. People ask us all the time if it's okay to split a meal. Antoine and I split appetizers and desserts all the time, and this is going to be a good one. You have the fluffy greenery of the lettuce, a little bit of crispy crunchy from some croutons. The egg is, it's soft, it's a little bit warm and it has a great texture to it. The bacon, well, it's a big chunk of bacon and the mustard dressing, it just rounds it out just right. That's, that's a great combination. That looks absolutely delish with a piece of egg like that. Look at that. I'm gonna put a piece of bacon on top of it with my finger. The best way to start a meal with a little salad like that. Cheers. He always steals my wine. Oh no, I don't want any wine. He usually doesn't notice. <laughs> it looks cheesy. It's very cheesy, it's cheddar cheesy. The plates are really hot. Oh yeah, that looks freaking yummy, man. So this dish is a piece of toast with some fresh ham from the farm and a gooey, gooey cheese sauce with an egg on top. So let's see if I can get a little bit of everything in here. And oh my goodness, in one bite. It's rich, it's thick, it's gooey, it's salty and cheesy, and it's everything I wanted it to be. And this dish came with French fries. Because we're American, they brought us ketchup, which I no longer eat because in France, you eat your French fries with mayo. Oh man. <laughs> you got a little bit of toast. You got a lot of cheese. You got an egg. You got some ham, you know, wrapped in cheese. This is decadence. Oh man, this thing won't stop. Look at this. I can't get it. Oh, there you go. Finally. This is an amazing brunch item in a beautiful brasserie. This is amazing. Wow. How happy are you that we found this place? Well, this place was recommended to us by some fans and also by some Parisians that said this is a great address. That did not disappoint. Really excellent food. They cook it all in front of you in the kitchen. The staff has been super friendly. Oh! <laughs> mm. Holy moly, look at this. And I thought I didn't have any room for dessert. But there's always room for profiterole. Always. I'm so sorry there's not any left for Colleen, but I'm willing Yes, there to is. <laughs> yes, there willing, is. I'm willing to sacrifice myself for the good cause. You took my plate of food. Today, we're having lunch at the Fountain de Mars, which is right up the street from the Eiffel Tower, across from the Bergeron Bakery that we've covered. And this is a great little spot to get away from all of those touristic restaurants. I think I'm gonna have the confit de canard maison and it says there's some frogs, grand wif confit and a salad frisé. So I know I like salad frisé. I know I like confit de canard. I don't know how it's gonna be with frogs in it, but I'm gonna have that. So I'm gonna have the tartare de boeuf de braque. For the starter, we'll do the uh, 
special of the day, tomato burrata. It's going to be light and everything. And then they have a croustillant au chocolat for dessert. This is going to be a great meal. It's a lightly salted butter. And I'm going to put a little bit of saucisson on top of that buttered bread. <laughs> This is a really good sign of an amazing lunch. So today I ordered a glass of Bouilly, which is a burgundy wine. Fruity, light, easy to drink, and it's perfect on a uh, hot day like today. Oh yeah, it's very nice. Very light, cool. So this should be amazing. Got the basil sauce on the bottom, and that Barata here with those tomatoes and tomatoes in France are fabulous. Oh my god, that's good. Oh my god, that's good. You keep filming, I'll keep eating. But you didn't want to drink wine. <laughs> oh wow, you can taste the uh, freshness of the Barata cheese. And again, the bread is so thick and so yummy. This is really good. I'm enjoying this a lot. Thank you. Where's the frogs? The what? Where's my frogs? I don't know. I don't see any frogs on my plate, so that's probably a good thing. But this is a crispy duck. Oh yeah, it falls apart. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's delicious. If you're ever afraid that the duck might taste gamey, don't worry about it. Like That may be true in some places, not generally like that, but this duck here at the Fontaine de Mars is particularly mild, very tender, and just, oh, it melts in your mouth. It's especially good with a glass of vin de Antoine. I was expecting there to be frogs on my duck, which is kind of silly, didn't make sense, but the word was granier, not granouille. So that is the kind of potato, small, thin-skinned potatoes. So it's exactly what it was supposed to be. And I'm glad there weren't any frogs on the plate. Oh, look at that. What I like about this is it comes with french fries and a little bit of salad. So nice green salad and vinaigrette. Yeah, yeah, perfect meal. Too bad you didn't order one. No, 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 I ordered one. This is a chocolate something. They call it a croustillon, which means there's something crispy on top. Hot chocolate cake, gooey, pudding style, melting chocolate cake, and the ice cream is going. That is somewhere between a chocolate mousse and a chocolate cake. It's rich, it's thick. <laughs> Look at that, so that's just the chocolate part. Slightly warm. Oh. You had a personal moment there? I had a moment. Me and this dessert had a, a very deep connection. It's like we were separated at birth, darling. You cannot have any more of this dessert. I mean, this is, it's not chocolate mousse. It's more chocolate cream. It's warm. Holy moly. A little bit of ice cream. Oh, my ice cream fell in the chocolate. Whoopsie. But I'm glad I didn't have a heavy meal because this is, and I'm glad I'm sharing with Colleen. Kidding aside, this is good. Look at this. Make sure to check out our online app with the 100 best restaurants in Paris. They are sorted by area to make it easy and there's even a feature with maps and direction to make it easy to find. There's a link in the description, just check it out and see if it's a good fit for you. Today we're in a restaurant called Le Perrodin and we are a block away from the Pantheon and just a three minute walk from the Jardin du Luxembourg. And this is a typical neighborhood restaurant. Colleen is the only American having lunch here today. There's only French people. It looks like a lot of people have been coming and eating in this restaurant for many years. And this is a restaurant where you're going to get all the French classic. Pour commencer, on va prendre la soupe à l'oignon. Moi, je vais prendre Le bœuf bourguignon. Et pour le dessert, on va prendre la crème brûlée. And that is Antoine's glass of Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, super onion on the movie. Merci. Voilà. That's the French onion soup. We're going to see how it measures up. A little bit of cheat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a two utensil event. It's very light. You know, sometimes the onion soup is, is a little heavy. 
Okay. That's a very light, very flavorful. It almost, it's almost like there's a little bit of wine in there. Traditionally, onion soup in France is something we serve at the end of a wedding at three o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning to sober up. So it's always funny for me that people have an onion soup when they visit Paris, because this is why I associate it with. That's a great onion soup. Oh, look at this cheese. <laughs> oh, la, la. La, 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 la. Merci. Oh, oh, oh. That's exactly what I wanted. So this is the entrecote, which is basically steak with fries. It is a steak of poivre. They just call it entrecote because it, the entrecote is a cut of meat. That's going to be good. Just like I like it. Mm -hmm. This is for you. That's for me. Oh man, it's a great cat. There's something about a steak frites in French style. It's amazing. Look at this. So I got the Boeuf Bourguignon. So the reason why I tried Boeuf Bourguignon is this bistro is known for the Boeuf Bourguignon. Check how it's coming apart. Like I'm, I'm going with my fork gently and this is all coming apart. This is top three Boeuf Bourguignon in Paris. If your spouse is having steak frites, you steal some of their French fries while they're filming and then you dip it in the sauce and you have it like that. And there's nothing we can do about it because they're filming. You can dip your baguette in the sauce. Oh, look at that. And now you have the crunchiness of the bread. I have a spoon and I am not afraid to use it. I have a spoon. While Antoine was busy picking up the camera, I stole his spoon, so he's pure out of luck. <laughs> You're gonna break it. No, you can't, no. No, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Oh, that looks yummy. If only you had a spoon. Oh, I do have a spoon. No. There's something great about a creme brulee after a heavy meal. There's usually no room for dessert, but there's always room for a creme brulee. Did you enjoy your half of the creme brulee? I gotta stop filming now. If you like what you saw here, next I would watch this video with five bistros you need to try when you're in Paris.